Hello my dear friends and welcome to another marine engineering video by Adventure Store channel. My dear friends, today we will continue our important things that marine engineer should know. Okay, maybe for someone it's important, but for someone maybe not. Okay, we will see it together and please write the comments down below if these things was helpful for, uh, for you in your uh, situation. First of all, okay, I'd like to thank you that you are here and you watch my videos. And also, I thank you that you have checked the Abyss platform. Uh, you know, in the previous videos, I left a lot of links. And for the last time, I will leave this link. And I'd like to inform you that this year, 2020, is the most best year for this platform. You can monitor it, you can check it, but from you what I like is to join the platform and from there we will make a good team. Maybe for some times uh, you will be able to unlock some of the uh, platform achievements and this will be also really interesting for you because if you are playing gaming it will be, it will be nice. So let's start our video quickly. And I will not like to keep you anymore for this uh, platform. Let's quickly start and let's talk about interesting things here together. Don't sleep, stay here. So, what we will see now, okay, I will have told from previous uh, part one that how we check our diesel generators, what we check, what we see, and this image also can tell us a lot of things. First of all, also, I'd like to tell you that I have promised you to make a live and one live with pictures where we can communicate, we can say something, okay? And this will be really, really wonderful. Also, my dear friends, I uh, almost forgot it and I remember it now. Uh, the memberships now on the channel is available. I have set some memberships, uh, which is uh, apprentice level, senior officer level, and chief engineer level. Uh, what is my plan? My plan is to make some specified videos uh, for the members, and you can see each uh, type what have inside. Okay, so still I will make that one to make it more beautiful, more good. I will put some raw material there. So we will be, will be able to check that. So let's start. First of all, what we see here, this is the return tanks of stern tube. This one here. And we have two inspection side glass here. As you know, always we have problem with the lamps and we cannot see the flow inside here. Okay, if you have a good flashlight and a good engineer must have always a good flashlight a good pair of shoes and ear protection and uh, also helmet or some glasses which will protect your eyes. My dear friends, always protect your uh, personal safety. This is the most important thing uh, that we have. And for sure, for junior engineers, for apprentice engineers, this is the most important because they will go also for second engineer, for chief engineers later, or maybe uh, superintendents. So use the safety material, the safety PPE, personal protective equipment, uh, which will protect your body from all the hazards of engine room. Okay, let's start quickly and hear what we have told that we have problems with lamps here and always the brake. What we see here, we see the oil of our system, how it's circulated and returned uh, through the system. This is really important in morning basis when we are passing there to check uh, if the oil is passing there. Also, there's available a alarm here and I will make it more clear here, one zoom. So what we will be able to see is, and I will have my pen, 
okay this is located here so this alarm for in some cases in some ships there is low level alarm and high level alarm or or maybe there is a non flow alarm so if you have non flow something happen in the system this alarm will be triggered and always as you can see there is a label here some lining and attach here where you can identify what kind of alarm is and one number uh, most of the tables uh, labels that located around in such sensors or uh, level equipment level monitoring equipment uh, have labels that is for sure and it's better to keep them uh, as it was in the first uh, situation that we have found also here okay you can use lead lamps here for uh, prolonged time of uh, usage but it depends if your company send this uh, equipment okay also my dear friends really important is for the inspections to check your uh, sounding pipes here and as you can see we have this uh, lever here okay it's going something like that and like that here okay when you lift this up this weight the system this system must be operate without put any power okay this must slide here and stop and when you are checking from the top there must be complete sealing also really important to say for apprentice engineers for new oilers that always the cap must be attached for the reason that our tanks are all tanks that we have let's say only bilge bilge holdings overflows must be completely uh, sealed because this is a situation from where the fuels uh, can come out and in what case this will happen this will happen when we forget one pump and we make a transfer and all the tank will be filled where is the most easiest way from the liquid to coming out is from this sounding pipe okay and then cleaning uh, using of chemicals uh, dust pans uh, a lot of work which we try to avoid <coughs> sorry so this is the proper way also these cups and i forgot almost forgot must have attached a wire for the reason that you will not lose that cap it will be always there and in any case it's if something happened you can close tightly this uh, cap okay this is a uh, some small reference uh, just for new engineers also as you can see my dear friends here because uh, we have a circulated system of oil of stern tube because this all equipment is for stern tube here we have attached also a msds here of the oil that is circulating inside uh, in case that something happen uh, you will not spend any time to see uh, what kind of medical uh, the person need to be uh, carry on and the proper treatment and how to handle uh, this kind of oils there is uh, a lot of specifications inside and it's very good for new engineers to read uh, what include inside so to be familiar it's really really important that and always uh, ask from your companies if you do not have any msds on your lube oil station or chemical station let's say or in the control room because there must be also a, a a place where you keep also msds inside control room and also chief engineer have uh, these papers you can print them you can 
uh, make some additional copies and post them so it they will be available this is really important so also here we have our uh, pumps stern tube pumps here which it's better to make change over from local here closely there is a panel and as you know every month we make the change over of the pumps so when you are here local and the best thing is all the pumps to check from local because what you can see from local you can see any leakages you can see okay the amperage maybe it's located maybe it's not but mostly as i remember they're located in the engine control room uh, what you will see local okay you can see if your seal is working properly you can feel any noises any vibrations also you can monitor you can hear what is going on of your motor also you can see if your motor is turning or not okay by, by your flashlight if you're using your second uh, stage of the fla flashlight check it uh, there is two two buttons sometimes because there is a some sm a strong light in the first uh, step and the second step is more smaller light if you put this uh, light light <laughs> light light <laughs> how it's it this small light okay to the uh, turning shaft from the top or from the cooling fan at the back you can see in the slow motion uh, the turning motion of the motor okay and also you will be able because uh, from this effect from the slow motion you will be able to see the rotation the the direct of rotation of the motor so you can see all these things you can feel you can hear which is really important and also you will be able to see the pressure gauges the suction gauge and the discharge gauge so all the engineers that are familiar with the pumps because all the pumps have appropriate pressures appropriate temperatures okay temperatures mostly mostly is for the cooling here and this is our pressure gauges here and here are the temperature gauges so on the control room locally what you can see you can see your amperage and from there you also can understand that if your motor is overloaded or not if you monitor that a motor was uh, four amperage and after overhauling you see that it's going to six or eight that means that something was wrong that something we have done wrong and we in any case we avoid to leave our motor running like that as you can see we have number one and number two always in uh, ships they have this specification number one machineries start from starboard side and number two goes to port side we have uh, this numbering on the vessels also here my dear friends there is a stern tube and also the pressures from here you can monitor if the ship is on ballast or loaded you can understand everything and also from here from these pressure gauges you can understand how much your uh, ship is loaded or not also my dear friends when you are making a round around the ship uh, there is accessible areas from here where you can monitor uh, various things like leakages or some waters and you can think what is going on and from where this water is coming it's really important to know these things because uh, you will think for something and also if you see okay a leakage maybe you will think okay yesterday i didn't see that today from where is this water okay maybe it's moisture sometimes uh, 
when you when you're working in the cold areas as i did uh, in my previous contracts in 2000 from 2009 to 2015 uh, because there is a big difference with the seawater as we see here there is a seawater level let's imagine that this is the seawater level and our engine room uh, in ice class there is some heaters which heats all the air and someone heater there is here okay in opposite side and the air is blowing here the hot air is blowing from this side here and because of this contrast of metal this metal is cold let's say it's zero degrees or one degree let's say celsius one degree celsius let's draw the sea level again and our air is hot here so moisture start to accumulate it here 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 and after all these drops going by the inclination of the ship because the hole is here is somewhere here and passing here and then collect to the bottom so that is uh, some things that we have say only for one image we can say more we can see also that we have a cooler with plate type cooler which is enough for cooling our oil in cold weathers really uh, the cooling it's more than enough because the water the sea water is cold okay but this uh, cooler is cooled by fresh water okay and our three-way regulator on the top of the system will send it by pass will send it outside of the main coolers if the water uh, became colder so if the seawater is really really cold the temperature will be stabilized somewhere and then will be steady otherwise we cannot heat the water okay maybe you will have some recirculation recirculation system on the on such kind of vessels but it will be somewhere uh, stabilized so my dear friends uh, i will not make any longer this video don't forget to check my previous videos i hope this video helped uh, mostly new engineers uh, which coming on this interesting uh, business of maritime engineering Maritime engineering, it's really, really interesting thing. And every time you learn something, it's more and more interesting. And it holds you uh, always with interest. So my dear friends, leave your comments below. Don't forget also to join the Abyss platform. I will be really happy. I see that five persons already joined there and it's really, really nice. So some days, uh, some days, we will start also to play games there and also make your shares about that. Don't forget, adventure story. Bye-bye.